Howdy folks, Dave here at Thunder Mesa Studio. And today I want to take you behind the scenes and let you in on some of the future plans that I have for the layout. I uh, put up this uh, blue partition wall behind me a couple of years ago. It's directly across the main aisle uh, from the layout and actually separates the layout space uh, from my uh, workshop area on the other side. And I put it up with the kind of vague idea that eventually I would uh, do something over here model-wise. I might display, you know, freestanding models and dioramas over here. Uh, I might build a little HON30 layout. Uh, you know, all kinds of ideas went around in my head. And until recently, I finally hit on what exactly I want to do with this space. A lot of visitors here to the studio have also asked about this switch right here, which is the switch to nowhere, which I put in as kind of an afterthought on the Calico Mountain expansion, thinking that maybe one day I would run tracks around over there. Well, guess what? That's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, the main problem is this gap right here, which is about 30 inches wide and uh, provides the really the only access point uh, from the layout area back to my workshop over here. So I can't really close this off permanently, and I do not like duck unders at all. So the solution will be to build a lift out section, uh, all scenic, you know, uh, that will fit right in here, probably built almost entirely out of foam, so it'll be very lightweight, and it'll plug into the track on this end and then plug into a new section right over here. So What's that new section going to be? Well, let's uh, sit down here at the drawing table and figure it out. Not including the lift out section, the space I have to work with is about 80 inches long by about 24 inches deep at the widest point. Just enough room to fit two, maybe three scenes in. A small junction town seemed just the thing, complete with an interchange track and a 36-foot A-frame turntable for sending the trains back the way they came. As you can see, I still like to draw my track plans the old-fashioned way, with pencil and graph paper. But when it comes time for color and graphics, I turn to good old Adobe Photoshop. So this will be the location of Tumbleweed Junction, and this is where the Thunder Mesa Mining Company layout interchanges with the Grizzly Flats layout. There will be a small engine terminal right here, uh, and the interchange back here, a depot, and there will be the town of Tumbleweed, which will be built down below the track grade level in a gulch, and the gulch is going to be flooded as if a flash flood had just come through and uh, almost wiped the whole town out. It's something I've never seen modeled on a model railroad before, and I would really like to try my hand at it. I like the idea, I like the challenge of it. And of course, it ties in with the town of Tumbleweed, which is at uh, Big Thunder Mountain in Walt Disney World. But that's not the only change coming. Behind me here is the unfinished engine terminal uh, for Th Thunder Mesa Town. Uh, for a long time, I planned to put a turntable here and an engine house, a full-on engine facility uh, for the railroad. But, you know, usually when a project sits unfinished for a long time, <laughs> I don't get around to it. I keep putting it off and putting it off. There's usually something about the idea that doesn't just quite gel for me. Uh, there might be a technical challenge. I, I don't know how to do that. That certainly happens sometimes. Or in some cases, just, just it might not be the absolute best use of the space. And I think that is uh, what the problem is here. This is why I haven't gotten around to this. You know, if you look back on old plans of Thunder Mesa going back for several, several years, there's always been an engine terminal back there. But the thing about my layout here is that it's, it's a show. 
you know, it's, it's basically a show. I'm putting on a show here. Um, and so when planning something new for the layout, I have to ask myself, you know, what's the best use of that space? What's, what's the best show? Is the best show to have a engine terminal back over here, which, by the way, I would rarely use. <laughs> Most of the time, I run the trains in display mode. Uh, if I don't have an engine terminal here, it's still completely possible to run the, the layout point to point, especially with the new uh, terminal that's going to be a tumbleweed over there. So I don't really need it. I don't really need an engine terminal over here. But what would make for great show? What would be really entertaining to have over here? What would have a high wow factor when people walk in and look over there in that big space, that two by two foot corner of the layout? Well, one of the most requested models that I have not built is Phantom Manor. That's right, Ravenswood Manor from Disneyland Paris. That's what I want to put over here in this corner. It's a perfect spot for it. And uh, it would be far more entertaining, I think, to most folks than, than an engine terminal, which are cool, you know, as a, as a railroad guy. I love engine terminals, don't get me wrong. But Phantom Manor, come on, Ravenswood Manor, that beautiful uh, Victorian Gothic mansion up here on the hill, haunted. You know it's going to be haunted, right? You see, the cool thing is, I can hide a complete digital projection system inside of the structure. So in night mode, you can see ghosts flying up the backdrop here, all of the haunted mansion, from behind uh, Ravenswood Manor. So that's the long-term plan. I don't know when I'll get to building uh, the... Uh, uh, Phantom Manor or, or Ravenswood Manor. Uh, it'll be a while, probably be after I do all that over there, but I'm really, really excited about the idea. So right now I'm doing research, I'm gathering uh, uh, drawings and photographs and everything I can find on that structure. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's going to be pretty cool. I hope. So there you have it. A little preview of coming attractions here on the Thunder Mesa layout. Realistically, we're probably looking at a couple of years of work uh, for me, uh, along, especially along with all the other projects. Uh, Calico Mountain is still not finished. Uh, the town of Calico is not finished, et cetera, et cetera. So lots and lots to do to keep me busy. If you uh, want to be updated on this stuff and enjoy this kind of content, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. You can also uh, follow along on Instagram at uh, thunder.mesa. Uh, or check out uh, the website, Thunder Mesa Studio. That's uh, thundermesa.studio, where you'll find all the projects, uh, model kits from Crescent Creek Models, my artwork, and a lot more fun stuff. Until next time, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Keep moving forward. Adios for now.